Are you ready to see what you can accomplish in Photoshop? And no, I don't mean in a few years. I mean in a few weeks or even days. Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this video, we're going to get some inspiration. I'm going to show you some digital art that was created using the creative Photoshop learning method. Now, if you're thinking, well, these are not the types of composites I want to do. I'm just a photographer. Well, here are some photographs that have been corrected, retouched, or enhanced using Photoshop. Whether you are a portrait, landscape, product, or street photographer, a retoucher, digital painter, concept artist, graphic designer, or any combination thereof, we've got you covered. And the truth is that almost anyone can make this kind of digital art, even if they're not a Photoshop pro. Yes, you do need to learn Photoshop, but the way that you learn Photoshop and the way that you use it will greatly impact how quickly you can create digital art like this and the quality of the digital art that you create. There's a misconception that you need to be a professional designer or a classically trained painter in order to create these kind of images, but that simply isn't true. Um, I personally never went to art school and I didn't learn design the traditional way. I did it using the exact same method that I've been talking about in this six part video series using the creative Photoshop learning method. In 2003, I was working in corporate analytics. It wasn't really a job I enjoyed. I had always been drawn to design, but I'd never gone to art school. I hadn't gone to a college and I had no design degree. But I started teaching myself design software in the evenings after I got home from work. I'd read the manual to Photoshop, and then on weekends when I had access to the software, I'd try to practice what I learned. And I was really not getting anywhere. It was, it was very much a grind. Then, by a stroke of cosmic luck, one of my analytics projects had me sharing an office with a Photoshop guru. And I'd look over his shoulder and watched him tackle project after project in Photoshop. And it was the missing link between theory and practice that I really needed. And I saw creative problem solving in real time. And it entirely changed my learning paradigm from learning tools and settings to learning creative recipes. And it gave me the skills and confidence to start pursuing a design career and within a few months, I had my first graphic design job. And then within a, a year or two, I was the head of a design department. Now, 20 years later, I'm a partner and creative director at a design agency and also teach design both through my YouTube channel and through Nucle. In fact, the first time I ever stepped foot in a college was as a guest professor to teach a class on color theory at Chapman University. Now, before you think that um, it's because I was born with special skills or gifted from birth, I want to highlight a few stories from students of my creative Photoshop learning method. The first one here comes from, I know we're not, we're not going to cover all of these. We're just going to cover three. But the first one comes from Gary in Australia. He was a photographer who wanted to improve his skill set. Here's what he had to say. My name is Gary and I reside in Australia. A fellow photographer suggested I look at Rickard Rodin's tutorials as I am keen on doing composites. After viewing my first tutorial, I remember saying to myself that I can learn much from this guy, having purchased a couple of packages and putting, Rickard, and putting what Rickard taught in practice. In the last six months of this year, I've gone from a mid-level B-grade photographer 
to winning the Most Improved Photographer of the Year and finding myself now in A grade. Could not have done it without Rickard's help. I learned so much with this package that my images took on a whole new meaning. Here's another one, and this is from a book, a book cover designer. She says, I have 15 years retouching experience and I've learned more in the past week from his courses than in those 15 years. He has explained color in a way no one has before. My technical understanding is much better now. He goes at a fast pace, which I much prefer. LinkedIn learning sends me to sleep. It's too slow. I love learning how his mind works. It really is how to storytell with color and composites. You're also provided with everything and more you could possibly need to follow along and create your own engaging images. The courses are fun and creative. He really knows his stuff technically and creatively. Okay, and this final story is one of my favorites because it really highlights the point I've been trying to make about creative skills over Photoshop skills. So she starts, I'm in tears, you guys, and it's all Rickard's fault. I've been taking his courses and mastering composites and creating atmosphere. Incredible courses. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I entered a composite competition for those who use Affinity Photo. Yes, you read that right. I use Affinity Photo. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, Affinity Photo is a competitor of Photoshop that has a very similar tool set. Using the skills and techniques I've so far learned, I created a composite. I went as far as to create renders for said composite, Demons and Angel Wings. Well, wipe said tears, I placed in the top 10. Me, there's no way I could have done this without having taken these courses. Zero. Yes, I'm an artist, but Rickard's courses and lessons gave me direction and taught me how to use tools to create believable composites. Today, my heart couldn't be more full. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for giving us all the tools to push us closer to our dreams. Now, these are just a few of the many stories, successes, and testimonials I've received from people who have become better photographers, artists, and designers using the creative learning method. Now, anyone can do this, including you. Here's some images created by students of the Nuclei Courses and Academy. These are all images that they've sent me showing their progress as designers and artists. You can see some really great artwork here. Now, on April the 26th, I'm looking for a group of people that I can take through my Nuclei Academy and teach with my creative Photoshop learning method. This is the exact method responsible both for my success and my students and the method that has led to the art I shared in this video. In fact, at the beginning of this video, all of those composites and images that I showed you are ones that are projects from courses and that you will be able to accomplish on your own. Now, it's more than just an online course or a series of online courses. We'll embark on a creative journey and I'll be there to help you along the way. I'll be doing live Q&A sessions to answer your questions and help if you get stuck. And yes, these are recorded if you're living in a different time zone or can't make the live meetings. Now with the Academy, you also join a community of like-minded individuals that all have the same goal as you, creating beautiful digital art, having fun, and mastering Photoshop and creativity the smart way. Finally, with the Academy, you don't just get online courses and a community, you also get access to my library of more than 3,000 overlays, textures, presets, brushes, and other professional royalty-free assets and tools for Photoshop that you can use in your own projects. Now, a few people have asked me, uh, can they use these if they're joining a Photoshop competition where AI is banned? And the answer is yes. None of these are AI generated. And also none of them require any kind of attribution or credit. 
once you join the academy, you have all access to them. They are yours. Now, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you click on the link in the description and sign up for the waitlist. Everyone on there will be able to join the Nuclear Academy one day before it opens to the general public to get a coveted spot in our next enrollment. All right, in our last video of this series, I'll be answering the questions you've been sending me and giving you, giving you a preview of what you can expect in the Academy. So if you do have questions, put them down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you next time.